Welcome back to Noir Alley. I am your host, Eddie Muller. Today I bring you the first of several international films on the Noir docket for 2022. It's Que de Ofavre, a French film from 1947, which was popular in its day, but over time almost slipped into oblivion, at least outside France. The title refers to the location of police headquarters in Paris, in the heart of the city. If we want to split hairs, the film is a bit more of a police procedural than a straight noir. Not only that, it could be categorized as a backstage drama filled with colorful showbiz types and as a Christmas movie, one with a sweet and charitable heart. That it is a smooth and sure-footed blend of all these elements is what makes Que du Favre such an exceptional movie. When the film was released in the United States in 1948, it was retitled Jenny L'Amour, the name of the central character played in fetching fashion by Susie Dallaire. Jenny fulfills the function of the femme fatale so dear to noir fans, although it's debatable whether she's as shrewd and manipulative as the genre's garden variety vixen. Jenny is an ambitious and coquettish musical performer, married to her composer accompanist Maurice, a droopy sad sack played by Bernard Blier. He is eternally jealous of the attention paid to his wife, and in true noir fashion, that jealousy sets his mind reeling. When Jenny accepts a date with a lecherous old geezer who promises to advance her career, Maurice expects the worst. And of course, something dreadful does happen. We're just not sure why or how. Enter Inspector Antoine, played by legendary French actor Louis Jouvet. In one of his most memorable film roles, he's a sort of continental Columbo. The inspector juggles the demands of his job with an unexpected domestic life, and Jouvet creates one of the most humane portraits of a weary and beleaguered cop you'll ever see in a movie. The film was a tremendous comeback for its writer-director, Henri-Georges Clouseau, who had been banned from making films in France after the end of the Second World War. During the Nazi occupation, the chronically ill young Clouseau had finally achieved his ambition of becoming a filmmaker, albeit for Continental Films, a production house controlled by Germans. His 1944 film Le Corbeau, The Raven, was controversial for its inflammatory depiction of a French village torn apart by anonymous letters accusing town folk of various crimes. Clouseau was vilified by his own countrymen for collaborating with the Nazis and by the Nazis for making an anti-fascist movie. The post-war French government barred him from life from making movies, but protests led to the ban being lifted in 1947. Quai des was his comeback film, and it was intentionally far from controversial. The film is loosely based on the 1942 novel Legitimate Defense by Belgian crime writer Stanislas André Steeman. Clouseau's first two films were adaptations of Steeman mysteries, Six Dead Men and The Murderer Lives at Number 21. But when Continental Films bought the rights to Steeman's Quai d'Or Favre, the novel was out of print and Clouseau and co-writer Jean Ferry adapted it mostly from memory, resulting in many changes from the original, including the identity of the culprit. New Wrinkles included one of the story's most intriguing characters, super stylish photographer Dora Monnier, played by Simone Renan, who has her own unrequited love for Jenny L'Amour. Dora's sexual orientation could only be coyly suggested in a Hollywood film of the same era, here, it's treated as a matter of fact. I was tempted to say a simple matter of fact, but there's nothing simple about the characters in this film. They may be recognizable types, familiar suspects from whodunits the world over, but what characterizes Clouseau's handling of the material is his compassion for people, specifically people trying to reclaim their livelihoods and their humanity as France emerged from the horror of World War II. He may have been consciously trying to win back the favor of his countrymen after the scathing cynicism of Le Corbeau, but 75 years later, his motivations are a moot point. This is a mystery thriller that stands with the best ever made.
but it's almost singular in its warm-hearted attitude towards its characters, shared humanity. From 1947, scripted and directed by Henri-Georges Clouseau and starring the delectable Susie Dallaire, here is Jenny L'Amour, a.k.a. Que des Orfavres. 